Warning. Spoilers. Okay. This Batman story was actually, um, the first Batman story I read when I was getting into comics. And I, um, still really enjoy it. What happens in here is that, uh, this is the first appearance of Asriel. Um, what happens in here is that, um, Jean-Paul Valley, who become Asriel, uh, finds his father dead, um, in front of his door at Gotham University. His father tells him what happened, that he was going after a man named Leah, and, uh, Leah had gunned him down. His father gives him instructions to find a man named Nomas. Uh, when he encounters Nomas, Nomas, um, you know, tells him what was up with his dad, and he tells him that his father was, um, a member of the Order of St. Duma, an ancient order that had been around since the Crusades, and, uh, the order had, um, a special agent, and that went by the name of Azrael, that has been passed down through generation. Um, so now it's up to Jean Paul Valley to become Azrael, and he'll learn how to fight because his father actually, um, secretly trained him. Uh, when he was little, and um, he was under something called the system, which will make him believe that he is the angel of vengeance, Azrael. Uh, when the, you know, when it is triggered, he, you know, learns the things that he didn't know, he learns how to fight and everything, um, and what he has to do is find a man named uh, Leah, who uh, was a former member of the Order of St. Dumas, but now worships a demon named Beath. Now, I know you're thinking, what does Batman have to do with any of this? Well, Batman is investigating uh, Jean-Paul Valley's father's uh, death, and he gets involved when he goes and um, encounters Jean-Paul Valley. There's a case of mistaken identity, and you know it results with Jean-Paul Valley and Batman uh, fighting. And that's all I'm really gonna say um, because uh, the rest is pretty good. Um, so yeah, like I really enjoy the story still after all these years, and. Um, the artwork is uh, penciled by Joe Quesada, you know, the guy that basically destroyed Spider-Man for me. Um, but, you know, it's not that bad. Um, now, Batman's cape is done, though. It's kind of weird. Sometimes it looks like it's supposed to look like a bat's wing. And other times it just looks like it was just scribbled in. Like, you know, if the little kid had a marker and just decided to scribble in the back of, uh, of it. Like, the artwork's, you know, decent. Um, I also think there should have been, and this is something that... Um, several people have always talked about when they review this book, is that, you know, it kind of ends really quickly. Like, you know, you kind of wish that, you know, they kind of went on with the story. Because this is a four-part storyline. Um, this is a, a prequel to the Nightfall series. So, if you just got into the Nightfall series and you have no idea who Jean-Paul Valley is, uh, this is a book you should pick up. If you're a fan of the character Azrael, uh, I definitely recommend this. Uh, one of the problems I have with it, though, is the name. Batman sort of Azrael. Um, you know, I'm not a massive Batman fan, but, you know, Batman doesn't really deserve the top billing because, well, he's not really around that much. Like, yeah, he's investigating John Paul Valley's father's death, but, you know, um, he's, like, not really there that much. It's mostly about John Paul Valley. Like, Nightwing was in, uh, the first, um, you know, Azrael's story, um, when you brought in this new Azrael, it was called Nightwing, uh, Azrael Death Dark Knight. It was called Azrael Death Dark Knight. Um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, this was a really quick review. Um, you know, I just really enjoy the story. Um, I don't mind when you spoil that much for it. Um, that's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you like this video. Please rain comment. Um, Goodbye. Next time, nightfall.